Welcome to Philotic Maths. Fighting problems one step at a time. Welcome to Philotic Maths. Today we're having our third lesson on differentiation in which we're going to look at negative powers of x. Let's have a look at an example. In this first example then, we've been asked to find f dash of x when f of x is x to the minus 1. Now we can actually use this same rule of differentiation that we've been using previously, which states that if f of x is x to the power of n, then f dash of x is n x to the n minus 1. So essentially what we do is we bring the power of x down in front of x, and then we subtract 1 from the original power. So if we use this rule here, we're going to bring the power of x, which is minus 1, in front of x, so it's going to be minus 1x, to the power of minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2, so the power of x here is minus 2. Okay, so we've differentiated it, but we can simplify this a little bit because we don't need to write the 1, because minus 1 times by x to the minus 2 is just the same as minus x to the minus 2. So this is the final answer. Now in the second example, we've got to differentiate 1 over x to the power of 5. Now this is slightly harder because it's not explicitly in the form x to the power of n because the power of x is on the bottom of this fraction. So we need to actually write this firstly in the form x to the power of n before we differentiate. Now to do that we need to think about one of our laws of indices which is the following. 1 over x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of minus n where n is just any number. So in this case we've got 1 over x to the power of 5. So using this rule this is actually equal to x to the power of minus 5. Okay, now it's in the form of x to the power of something, so we can differentiate it using this rule. So we've got x to the power of minus 5, so what we're going to do is bring this minus 5 down in front of x, so it becomes minus 5x, and then we subtract 1 from the power. Now minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. So this is the final answer, we've got that f dash of x is minus 5x to the minus 6. In this third example, we've got to differentiate 3 over x to the power of 4. Now, similar to the previous example, we've got the power of x on the bottom of this fraction, which means that we're going to need to use this rule to convert it into just the power of x, which will enable us to use this rule to differentiate. So, the first thing we're going to do is to write this 3 over x to the power of 4 as 3 multiplied by 1 over x to the power of 4. And this just allows us to use this law of indices here because now this is 3 multiplied by 1 over x to the power of 4, which using this rule is x to the power of minus 4. So we've got 3 times x to the power of minus 4, and this is what we're going to differentiate. So, we've got 3 times x to the power of minus 4, so the first thing we're going to do when we differentiate is just copy the 3 multiplier, and then we're going to think about how to differentiate x to the power of minus 4. So to differentiate this power of x, we're going to bring the minus 4 down in front, which is going to be minus 4x to the power of minus 4 minus 1, which is minus 5. Okay, we've now differentiated and we've got 3 times minus 4x to the minus 5, and we can simplify this a little bit by doing the 3 times minus 4 to give minus 12. So this is going to give us minus 12x to the minus 5. So this is f dash of x, this is the final answer. Right, one final example then, we've got to differentiate this whole fraction. So, how do we start with something like this? Well, what we've got to do is split up this whole fraction using this common denominator by looking at the two terms on the numerator. So that's going to look like the following. We're going to have 3x to the 6 divided by 9x to the 4. And then minus 6x over 9x to the 4. Okay, the next step is to simplify these two fractions individually. So if we just look at this first fraction to start with, we're going to try and simplify this as much as possible. So let's just start with the numbers. We've got 3 divided by 9. Well, what we could do is divide each of these two numbers by 3. So the top of the fraction is going to be 3 divided by 3, which is 1. And the bottom of the fraction is 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Okay, now let's look at the powers of x. We've got x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 4, which leaves us with x squared, because we subtract the powers when we divide these terms. Okay, that's the first fraction done. We've got 1x squared over 3. Now, the second fraction, we've got minus, and again, if we just start with the numbers, we've got 6 over 9. 
Now we can divide the 6 and the 9 by 3, so the top of the fraction is going to be 6 divided by 3, which is 2, over, and then we're going to have 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Okay, now let's look at the powers of x. We've got x over x to the power of 4. Now remember, x really means x to the power of 1. So we've got x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 4, which is going to leave us with x to the power of minus 3, because we subtract these powers, we need 1 minus 4, which gives us minus 3. Right, the final thing we need to do then is just to rewrite this as 1 third times x squared minus 2 thirds times x to the minus 3. And now we're ready to differentiate. Okay, how do we differentiate this then? Well, we're going to focus on the first term to start with. We're going to copy the third times. So we're going to have third times. And then to differentiate x squared, we bring the 2 down. So it's going to be 2x to the power of 2 minus 1, which is just 1. And we don't need to write the 1 because x to the power of 1 is just x. So that's the first term differentiated. Okay, moving on to the second term, we're going to copy down this minus 2 thirds times. So we get minus 2 thirds times whatever we get by differentiating x to the minus 3. So to differentiate x to the minus 3, we bring the minus 3 in front of x to become minus 3x. And then we subtract 1 from this power of minus 3, which is going to be minus 4, because minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. Okay, we've now differentiated. The final step is just to simplify this. So we can write this 1 3rd times 2 as just 2 thirds with the x. And then we've got a minus times a minus, which is going to be a plus 2 thirds times 3. Well, 2 divided by 3 times 3 means that these 3s cancel out, just leaving us with this 2 here. So we have plus 2x to the power of minus 4. And that is f dash of x, that's the final answer. Thanks for watching part 3 of Differentiation. I hope you've enjoyed this trilogy. See you next time for more maths. Take care. Have you suffered from a maths related injury in the last 4 months? You're in the right channel. Welcome to Philotti Maths. Welcome to Philotti Maths. Today we're having our third lesson on differentiation following part 1 and part 2. Um, which is strange, considering it says part two on the whiteboard. Hello and welcome to Philotti Maths. Today we're having our third lesson on differentiation, following part one and part two. If you haven't seen part one and part two yet, feel free to click the links in the description to see those, and I'm gonna get out of the way quickly before this thing comes flying in my face, so see you later. <laughs>